what will be the total budgeted labor units if we have three resources with seven, five and three working days calendar and we assign it to an activity of five, five working days calendar. So if we come to P6, so I have created three activities and given the activity name of resource one, two and three and I have assigned them three resources, uh, one resource to each of the activity. If I come to resource, I have created three resources. Resource 1 given the name of 7 days, and resource 2 given the name of 5 days and resource 3 given the name as 3 days. And that is because resource 1 7 days has a calendar of 7 working days, resource 2 has calendar of 5 working days, resource 3 has a calendar of 3 working days. And each one of them has default working labor units of 8 per day. If you want to check the calendar, you can come to enterprise, go to calendar. Now let's check for resource 1 which has 7 working days. This calendar, resource 1, 7 days. We go to modify. And if you see over here, we can see all working days as white. Nothing is created out. If I come to work week, you can see it is showing as each of the day as 8 working hours. Similarly, if I come to 5 days working calendar and if I click on modify, you can see Monday to Friday is white and Saturday, Sunday is grayed out. It means that this resource has 5 working days calendar. You can see Saturday, Sunday is 0. So, if you come to activities, I have assigned activity 1 which is named as resource 1 with the first resource that is 7 working days. I have assigned resource 2 with resource 2 and resource 3 as a third resource which has 3 working days calendar. Now each of this resource, each of this activity has 5 working days. So if we see the calculation, resource 1, 7 days work week calendar which gives us 7 days into 8 hours per day or 8 units per day should give us 56. Resource 2 with 5 days. So 5 into 8 labor days, uh, labor units per day gives us, should give us 40. And resource 3 with 3 days working should give us 24 units. If we come to P6, add a column of budgeted labor units. budgeted labor units click on apply you can see that the budgeted labor units is showing us 40 whereas in the calculation it should be different as per calculation resource 1 should have 56 units but it is 40 resource 2 should have 40 that is true and resource 3 should have 24 but it is 40 that is because in any situation this activity calendar will supersede the resource calendar no matter what calendar you assign to a resource it will always take or calculate the budget level units based on the activity calendar now to understand that if we see over right here, you can see this black line, this black line is showing the limit over here. So this limit of three working days, no, I'm sorry. So yeah, okay, so right here. If I change my time scale to working days, if you see right here under resource 3 right here, it is showing as this has 3 days. So it is showing Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday as working. So it is showing black line over here. So this black line is showing that this is under the limit and it is showing the remaining days as non-working which is saying that the resource is not available for these days but still we, show, we can see that the budget labor units have been assigned over here. 
So the research calendar is only for its availability and not for the budgeted labor units calculation. But depending on the budget, this default units that you give, it will calculate the budget labor units. So if this was 16, the budgeted labor would have been calculated based on 16 multiplied by this five working, this five days. So if the default working time was 16 instead of eight, instead of 8 so 16 times 5 we would have had 40 over here, uh, 80 over here 